Another month, another CB. Am I right, boys? Hi. Welcome back to another Princess Connect video. My name is Lace, and today we're going to be talking about clan battle, or rather, let's run through a couple of the different comps that were like kind of spoon fed to us. Because what I have noticed is that there are a couple of like discrepancies or like differences as opposed to like what was shown in those Billy Billy videos. But for the most part, all you guys in those high end guilds, you guys probably already got it all sorted out. I will still go through like those little minor discrepancies, but like I think for the most part, you guys should be okay. But on top of that, as we go through each comp, I'm going to start talking about substitutes because because that's what really matters. And guys, you cannot say that this video came too late because like everybody had access to that spreadsheet. I made that clan battle preparation video like ages ago and I showed you guys so early on. But otherwise, here we are. Welcome to CB5, I think. And let's just jump into the video. So first, let's talk about Wyvern. And I think Wyvern is probably like the most straightforward one since like we actually run him so much. I actually don't know when we get like another boss one, but like, you know, I take it. I like Wyvern. Wyvern's easy. All right, guys. So this is one of the team comps in that spreadsheet. Remember that there is a video link on the right hand side and so I'm not going to go through like the full run really really hardcore but I do want to show you a couple of like different nuances that you do need to keep in mind so yeah so the first thing is that if you are able to run this comp run this comp but how you'll know if you can run the comp is if you have like a cock grow three or four star I think you'll probably also need to borrow a Kari five star I believe your Makoto can be three or four stars if you don't have your Hiyori start up then your Hiyori is Suzuna instead however if you are really early game then your Hiyori is going to come out for a Miyako all right I know that was a real speed run, but like, let me talk through this real quick, okay? So what we're going to have first is that the timeline actually says like you actually hit at 106 with your Kari Yubi. However, what I have noticed is that the Kari Yubi for some reason is actually available at 108. And so when the Mitsuki field comes down, we're going to Kari Yubi immediately. The Mitsuki field is fully down when the glow actually happens. So let me just show you guys real quick. It's going to glow glow. Did you guys see that glow? So when that glow happens, you hit the Kari Yubi. Obviously, I've already missed it, but I'm going to spam it as hard as I can. Okay, that was really, really bad. But essentially, you can get that Yubi off at 108 for Kari. The only other real nuances in this one is like, uh, so I'm going to hit that 102 and I'm going to hit Hyori right after Makoto. I'm actually playing this timeline decently well. It's not too bad, to be honest. Uh, the next thing I'm going to wait for is, I believe, the Kokoro? Kokoro switch? Oh no, it looks like Kari's coming up first. So Kari 58, so between 58 down to like about 52 or something, we're going to get another Mitsuki circle. This time I'm going to do it properly. And so when the glow comes up, I'm going to hit the Kari Yubi immediately. So I think it should be coming out next. Okay. Ready? Glow. See? The glow and you got that one arrow. That one down arrow means that the defense down has been applied. And then so after this, we're going to be looking at about like 47 when Kokoro actually comes to the front and switches. Or And then we got to use the UB. So bam, bam, bam. Three slashes and then Kokoro UB and she's going to stay there for the rest of the time. And so immediately after this, what I should have done was Hiyori UB right after. However, like you guys again can watch the timeline. And then after Hiyori's UB, I want to look for Mitsuki's flower thing and cancel it. The reason that you want to cancel Mitsuki flower is so that you can actually push forward the like timeline or rather the attack pattern. This just helps like the timeline align so that your hits are actually going onto like this red field. Okay guys, so I'm going to get back into it and spam that Hiyori. Oh my god, this is so bad, but that's okay. So I'm going to look out for that Mitsuki flower. I might have actually already missed it because I think the flower actually casts at about like 46. Yeah, it's already gone. So I'm just going to hold on to that. This, there's actually like no reason for me to use it. The next time I use it, it's either going to be on like a Mitsuki field or it's going to be like to cancel another flower. So I just got to keep my eyes open. All right. And so after that, we're going to move on and then we're going to get that. We got that flower. No, not the flower, the field down. And then we got the Makoto Yubi with another defense down. And then we got the Kari Yubi that defense downs as well. And you know what? I'm just going to Mitsuki Yubi just because, just because, right? Just get that little bit of extra damage in. And this is already kind of like a botched run. So just give me a break, guys. But again, the full timeline is in that spread sheet and so let's keep going so hopefully we'll be able to get the no we're not going to get hiori here we're going to get nothing we're actually going to get absolutely nothing and so the only other nuance here is that you can animation cancel the kokoro speed buff and so that's going to happen at 021 when she's going to get her speed buff you're going to see those buff icons come up on the bar up here and then immediately after you see those buff icons you're going to want to hit that kokoro ub so like it actually cancels the rest of that animation all right so that's the plan let's jump in it is about 20 bam you see those buffs boom and then you cockroach UB. Too easy. 
And then we, oh no, that was a blunder. That was a blunder. Okay, that was bad. Okay, so the reason that was bad is because I saw the Mitski field coming out and the Mitski field came out way too late because I did not cancel that rose back like all the way back then, right? And so what I should have done, like despite not canceling that flower way before, like I should have actually just waited for the field to go down before using the Kari Yubi. On top of that, my Makoto Yubi was coming up. So the right order of sequence would be that Mitski's field gets laid down. It's gonna have the glow and then Makoto's Yubi and then Kari's Yubi. All right, so yeah, 20. 27k. You're supposed to be hitting like 44k's on that. And I don't know why I don't have uh, Makoto's one over there. But yeah, you guys essentially get the point, right? Oh, that was the cancel. That was the flower. You know what, guys? I'm just going to try like record a really fast, perfect run and you guys can see what it looks like. All right, guys, we are in again. And so we have the 108 and then the Makoto and then Hiori at the very start. Okay. So we are 110 and then wait i'm on the wrong boss okay guys we're back in the wyvern so first we're gonna have the 108 kari on the glow and then we're gonna have the 102 makoto and hiori so 111 we are about to get it auto attack nice glow and then we're gonna have oh my god that's juicy uh we're gonna have makoto at 102 and then hiori right after so animation cancel the slash yep and then let's go right into the hiori okay and then next, I'm going to be looking out for the Kari Yubi for when Mitsuki lays down the field. So let's do that. Okay, so there's no field yet, but it should come soon. It's coming up now. Okay, hit it. And then hopefully I can actually get this Hiyori Yubi in as well. Bam, nice. So animation cancel the Kitty Kapow. That's a 49. And so what we're going to have is we're going to have the Mitsuki flower first. And then we're going to cancel the Kokoro tri slash to get her to the front. So guys, pay attention. We're going to hit that flower now. Flower, damn, cancelled. Bam, that's it. That's it, guys. And then what we're going to see is we're going to see three instances of damage from Kokoro. And then we're going to get the UB off, okay? All right, let's get back to it. Bam, bam. That's it. This is perfect. This is a perfect run so far. And then after that, you can follow like the entire timeline down. So we've got like the Mitsuki field coming up. Glow, hit, and for some reason, my Kari UV, yep, there we go, 36, and then we've got Hiori coming up, uh, yep, okay, that should be fine, should be at about 30, bam, auto attack cancel, that's that, and then let's keep going, and then I believe the next thing, it should be at 21, the attack speed buff cancel, ready, bam, so those icons came up, I go right into it, all right, so, I'm waiting for the Makoto, Makoto, there we go. Okay, that wait, that's a bit late. That's really late, actually. Hold up, that's actually gonna screw things up. That is actually gonna really, really screw things up. Okay, so I'm gonna hold the Hiori Ubi because that field has disappeared now. So I'm gonna see if. Okay, that's fine. The field is coming up, which is good because that's what really matters. But I don't think I'm actually going to get like the Makoto and the Kari Yubis. That's so freaking weird. I don't know what I screwed up, guys, but I did showcase as much of the mechanics as I can. And so like if you guys just align those back to the timelines that we have on that spreadsheet, then that's it. But yeah, I don't think I can save this. The best thing I can do is like one second left. I can just spam everyone, everyone's UB on that um, Mitsuki field. And we have the Mitsuki field last. And I can pray for this Makoto UB, but it's not coming up. It's way too late. I don't know why that happened, but like I, this should be able to get like 1.3 mil maybe? Yeah, so 1.29 mil. Okay. All right, guys. So let me put up the prerequisites. Again, you're looking at probably a four-star Makoto, a five-star Kaori, and a three-star Kokoro. Yuri is replaceable. Susana and Mitsuki can probably be whatever. If you don't have all of those requirements, you're probably going to be switching out the Hiori for a Miyako. What that is going to do is it's going to change the timings for the Kaori, but like at that point, you're probably just trying to do your best anyway. The only advice that I can give if you're at like the mid game is that you should just look for the defense downs. If you notice, for example, your Hiyori or your Kari or your Susana's Yubi is up and like Makoto's is almost up, hit the Makoto before the Susana or the Kari or whoever. On top of that, the other opportunity you have is also Mitsuki's field. So that's really, really good. Okay, guys. So hopefully that wraps up Wiven for you guys. Like, and I think Wiven actually goes on to use this comp for a couple more CBs. Okay, so let's jump into Griffin. And so guys, if you have a quick look at the spreadsheet, you'll realize that we've actually used up the Mitsuki and Kokoro in the first team comp. And so if you did attack Wiven with that team comp, it means that you can no longer use 
these three comps. We've got a whole bunch of comps down here. However, this one is using Cockro, which has already been used up. And so realistically, you can only run these two comps as well as this comp up here. However, the comp that I ran is actually none of these. And it's just like your classic Jun, Saren, Makoto comp. And so guys, this is what it should look like. So we've got Jun, Kari, Makoto, Saren, and Shiori. And so how this works is that previously, you should have used your own Makoto and then borrowed a Kari. And then in this one, you should be using your own Kari and borrowing a Makoto. And then so what that means is that between your team one and your team two, this is your team two, you're going to be able to actually use the Makoto Kari combo twice. And so to be honest, this is probably the most brain dead comp. I don't think that I need to actually talk through this. This is just like an auto comp. I mean, there are a couple of adjustments that you can do. Like if you do see the Makoto is about to UB before like the Kari, then like you should actually consider doing that. However, there are a couple of cases where it does cut it close. So that one's fine. Like 43k, that's exactly what you want. And then you got your Makoto going again. Like honestly, this is just, this one just pilots itself. There really is not much to talk about here, except for like maybe this one over here. Yep. Okay. And so you can see in this scenario, I think what happens with the AI is that it actually pushes the Shiori first. But the answer here is really, really obvious, right? You turn auto off before this happens and then you hit the Makoto first and then the Kari and then the Shiori. So I'm actually not going to do that. And so let's see what the AI does. So hopefully it goes Makoto first. It's exactly as I said, it's the Shiori first. I don't know why. And so what you guys just saw was that the Griffin actually UB'd before my Makoto and the Kari UB'd. That is actually so, so massive, right? Because if you're able to get your Makoto, Kari and Shiori UB's off before the Griffin UB, then the Griffin UB would actually have charged up your Makoto and Kari and potentially have gotten you another UB on them. But yeah, to be honest, like not many optimizations to be made about this one. Like oh, this is already looking a bit poor to be honest. And so guys, with that being said, I am going to move on. However, let me first talk about substitutes as well as requirements. And so as you can see, a hard requirement for this one is Jun. However, if you don't have Jun, Miyako is another possibility. However, if you don't have Miyako, you need another tank that stands in front of Kari. And that is potentially your cooker. And I don't know if that's going to actually work. On the other hand, the substitute for Shiori is possibly Suzuna. However, you cannot use Arisa here. The reason you cannot use Arisa is because the Saren is going to boost the Arisa instead of boosting the Makoto. And the reason you want the Saren boosting the Makoto is because you want as much defense down as you can have. After that, you've got the Kari. If you cannot use the Kari, you're just going to need another DPS that stands like way behind here. And so it's probably going to be the Suzuna. And the reason you can't use like another melee unit is because it's going to actually catch the TP boost from the Saren. For example, if you wanted to try the Hyori, and I know you can't because you used it in the last comp, but say you did want to try that and it's not possible because the Hyori is actually going to be standing here between the Saren and the Makoto. And so what that means is that the Saren is going to be choosing the Hyori instead. And that's kind of like not really useful at all. And so as for star requirements, I believe Shiori two to three stars is fine. Saren three stars is fine. Makoto, I believe three stars is fine. You might need four stars. Kari as always as high as possible. However, I think three stars will work. And Jun only needs three stars. However, if you are going to be using a Miyako, I think you only need two stars for that one. So all in all, pretty straightforward. So hopefully you can actually run this comp. Okay, guys. So next we have B3 in which we have all of these different comps. The comp that I am using is this one up here. However, it is like really, really RNG prone. For those of you who have been a while and did fight Crab last time or like the time before that, yes, we are facing the Ilya crit again. I believe the timeline I run for this is identical. And so it's all of these guys over here. If you guys can follow it perfectly, then that's that. However, let me go through like the star requirements first. Ilya must be five stars. There's absolutely no doubt about it. Kyoka and Skiari, I believe can range from three to five stars. However, my Skiari is at four stars. And I would probably recommend that as well for your Skiari in particular. Misato is at two stars. However, you do need to make sure that your equipment is at 10 four for her. And Akari, I think you can actually just run it at like two to three stars. But for everybody, Akari should be like the easiest five star of them all because she is farmable via the dungeon, right? And so yeah, this is the team comp that I will be using and I'll showcase it, I guess, a little bit. And if you can't run this team, I would say replace either your Ilya or your Kyoka with the Miyako or the Kuka or the Nozomi, some kind of tank, right? And so I'm not going to run through this timeline like completely because like we've got three instances over here but let me just like show you how freaking close it gets okay all right so as you can see three star kyoka four star skiaru and then we've got two star misato okay here we go this is always so dank oh my god this is probably like my least favorite so we're going to do a skill here and then so after the skill ends, like so after the HP has been taken, you use the Ilya UB. So it's almost going to be always like that, right? I believe there are a couple more like that. However, like that's kind of it, I believe. So next we should have the Ilya. So again, guys, like follow through with the timeline, watch the video, have a look at the timeline on the side. They usually put it there. But yeah, otherwise, like this one is probably the most straightforward one. So I think this one you actually need to spam for the Ilya. And then we're going to wait till 45. You know what, guys? Every time I play through this, like I just can't like resist. So at 45, we have this impact kiss that's gonna hit we're gonna defense down and then we're gonna hit everybody's UB everybody's UB is gonna go bam 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 
Then we've got this one over here. Bam, 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 bam. And then I can't remember where we actually use Misato's Yubi. It's maybe it's here. Oh, it's actually not. Okay, because he is actually like really full health. Okay, so you saw that HP go down and then I U-beat immediately after. That's pretty much like how it is. But yeah, aside from that, I think that's like really the only mechanics requirements here. So maybe here? Uh, yeah, Divine Force. I believe we animation cancel that buff. Oh no, wait, we actually let it play through. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. You know what? We're already here. So let's just go all the way to the end. So I believe next we're going to go for the 20 seconds. We're going to get an animation cancel on the Ilya. Bam. So HP gone down, UB, and then next I believe... We've got the fifth, we've, I think we've got the 15 second, yep, bam, and then we've got the Skiaru next, I believe, bam, and then we've got the Kyoka after that, I believe, so Kyoka after she raises her staff for the magic buff, magic buff, done, bam, 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 and that should actually be it, and then I think we're going to actually get one more Ilya Yubi off, bam, that's it, I think that's actually the comp. That's actually the full run. Whoa, I actually did pretty well. That's actually 115. That's 116. That is the full damage. So yeah, as you can see, like they are all doing a whole bunch of damage. And so guys, looking at this, you can see how much damage Ilya does for an AOE unit, which is utterly ridiculous, right guys? But like these two are the only ones that realistically can be replaced. And if you do replace like the Kyoka with another tank, then the Ilya is not going to be getting as many UBs because she is no longer getting hit so much. The reason that you cannot replace these two is because you constantly need their magic defense down. Oh, actually, we've got a Misato here. So actually, instead of trying to replace one of these two, I would say actually replace the Misato with another tank. So I'm talking like your Nozomi or your Kuka or your Miyako. Hopefully that will work for you guys. But like for me, this is actually one of the most straightforward comps. But again, unfortunately, you have seen how low Ilya gets. And if she gets critted or if she crits herself, then it's freaking GG. And so on that note, remember guys that you can like restart your game once a day without any penalties. So if like at the very start, you notice that your Ilya has critted herself and she dies, you can actually force close the game once and then go back in to try it again and if you do it again you're just going to lose your attempts and that is no good because it turns into a zero all right guys i think that's it i've talked about the star requirements i've talked about substitutes so let's have a look at boss four all right guys back in the spreadsheet and so we have s tamaki over here and obviously we can't use her because she doesn't exist yet and so clearly your next best options are actually these two teams here however what you're going to notice is that this is technically your team one and so if you did go in on boss one you cannot go in on boss five and so that really makes sense right and so same kind of deal like for this guy over here because it's using the Mitsuki. And so to be honest, I don't think there's actually too many nuances with this guy. It's just that if you use the Ayane comp, you actually do need to do like some animation cancelling. So guys, I'm not going to actually run through this because this pre-recorded one is already really good. But what I am going to do is I'm going to go up to the Ayane bit and I want to show you guys what exactly the cancel is because it is a little bit tricky to see, but it's not really that hard. All that really happens is that the Cyclops guy is going to get three rocks and after he's thrown the first two, before he is able to throw the last one, you need to use the Ayane UB. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to count the rocks. Rock, rock, and then UB. And the reason you do this is because you want to take away his TP draining ability. All right, so let's just get into it. And we are going to be really close because Ayana is very close to UB. So he should be getting it. Ready? Ready? Rock, rock, and then cancel. Bam. So you see there are three rocks in total, right? So after these two rocks have gone, you use your Ayana UB. This is the rock that you don't want hitting you. So watch. Rock, rock, and then Ayana UB. It's, it's pretty straightforward, to be honest, guys. Otherwise, that's pretty much like the only hard mechanic, I believe, in this boss. And so let's start talking about star requirements. And so if I remember correctly, it's going to be, I think, Kari 4-star actually works here. However, this might be one of those instances where your Hiyori and your Kari must be actually the exact same stars. Unfortunately, I don't know the answer to that. And so like, you guys just need to test it. Speaking of Hiyori, Hiyori is going to need 5 stars because she is going to be tanking those hits from those rocks. But yeah, otherwise, like you guys already know, Mitsuki probably 3 stars and then Ayane 2 stars will do. Let me go back and and have a look at some of the other team comms. If that one doesn't work out for you because you don't have Ayana built, then consider using this one. If you guys did not run your mage team into this B3, then you can run it into the B4. And this is a really good one, especially because it's using a tank up front. So like, hopefully you won't be dying anytime soon. And then keep in mind that you do have these auto comps down here and that is like music to my ears. But yeah, going back to this one, I believe the only replacements that you can really do here for this one is like you could use a Miyako instead. And probably the same for this one. So again, guys, this is identical to your team one that you would 
would use on Wyvern or you could use on this guy. And so the replacements are technically like going to be the same. All right. And so with that being said, let's go down to this guy over here, Slytherin. Um, okay. There are a lot of S Tamakis. So unfortunately I haven't hit this boss overly much to know, but what I do know is that you can run the Jun Saren com into like the post enrage of this boss. So we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves. So let's go back up here. So we can't run any of these comps. So let's have a look at this one. I think that this one is probably the most accessible to everybody because it's using a bunch of units that everybody can get. And hopefully you guys did get some of Kokoro from the last event. Me personally, I actually don't have Jita and a lot of people don't have Jun and Arisa. But Jun and Arisa, like, if you can run that, you might as well run that instead. However, star requirements, you can already see the Kari has to be five stars to be able to face tank. For some of these guys, you might be able to get away with the four star, but like just test it out. Actually, nope, that is not true because I remember running this one and the Kari almost dies. So no, I don't think that you can run a four star Kari, I think you will need a five star Kari if you're insisting on running this like face tank comp. On the other hand, I believe the Makoto, the Susana, the Ntamaki, they can probably be at a lower star level. But if you really can't face tank with the Kari, so you don't have like a Kari five star, then I'd probably look at swapping out Summer Kokoro for like a Miyako. However, at this point in time, you've probably already used your Miyako. And so your only other option is probably Lima or like Kuka, which is pretty funny to be honest. But like, I think that's really all you can do. Otherwise, you could consider running like a more consistent healer than like the Summer Kokoro. Summer Kokoro is just so good because she combines healing with the physical defense down. And so instead of the Summer Kokoro, you could look at Misato or Maho. But yeah, this is the comp that I ran in the trials and my Kari like almost died. If you guys do run this comp, what I do remember is that the Summer Kokoro is going to heal the Susana first and then the Kari second. And if Kari is being healed second, then like obviously your Summer Kokoro has to be able to get her Yubi up for that. And that is way deep in the fight. And Kari doesn't have much sustain aside from her personal lifesteal. And as for post and rage, again, like I ran this guy. But as you can see, there are actually a lot of other options and so I would probably advise them however like this is what I ran actually if you haven't used up your t1 you could run either of these comps and this is looking like a t3 right and so with all of that being said like you guys can kind of see right there are like three teams you've got your t1 which is looking pretty much like this guy over here like where your Susana could replace the Hiori you've got your t2 which is typically your Jun Saren comp and then you got your t3 which is either your magical comp or like it's a comp like this and what I mean by comp like this is that this comp doesn't feature like your Kokoro or your Mitsuki or your Saren or your Jun. And as you can see, this comp meets all of those requirements. So yeah, that's pretty good. And so yeah, honestly, like with this spreadsheet, you should be able to put your teams into the right places because really that's what separates like your T150s to like your T50s. If you don't see the team comp like pop up over here, there's probably a reason why. And so for example, it's early in the day and you're up to boss three and you don't have these magical units. I would highly suggest just like sitting out for this boss and just wait until you get to the next one. Because in the next one, as you can see, you can use like your team one over here and then you could potentially use your team too. However, oh, this one is not really a great one. And the reason it's not a great one is because like it's using up your Jun as well as your Kokoro. So it's like going to be gimping your team two for Jun and your team one with Kokoro. But yeah, hopefully you kind of understand like where to put in your attacks. And so I don't know if there's too much left to be said. So let's start wrapping up this video. I really hope that was helpful guys. And like this is probably one of the most comprehensive CB like videos that I can do, especially when all of this is made public. So like really thank this spreadsheet. All right, secret message. And let's say TY spreadsheet. Big thank you to the spreadsheet because like all of these compilations, all of these like team comps and stuff, it's really freaking great. And so yeah, if you guys could drop that secret message down in the comments below, I would really appreciate it because it means you've actually watched the video all the way until the end. And so for that, thank you so much. But otherwise, please consider a like, a sub, a comment, a follow. You guys already know what it is. If you want to support the channel, there are affiliate links. There are some like membership things. But otherwise, as Snape from Harry Potter once said, all good things must come to an end. And so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.